This may take you by surprise, derail your train of thought, savage your concentration, blur your focus, knock you off course, don't worry. In a moment, you'll regain your balance and composure. Find that your wits have been restored. Continue on your way. You won't be even slightly aware that nothing ever will be the same. To choose. To believe that to choose matters. To believe that to choose matters, so we choose. And we hope that choosing really did matter, so we watch. <laughs> With our attention spread and scattered, and we listen, our acuity, acu acuity dulled by the gadgets plugged into our ears. And we wait with our awareness fading, our conviction soaked and wind torn for a revelation that confirms our, our faith, or at least justifies our apprehensions. Yeah. Mm. She knows he lies. He tells her when he does. <laughs> he lies, he says, only for virtuous purposes and never to her. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any reason for him to lie to her. She knows what she needs to know about him. He knows there is nothing he can tell her that will excite her in that way, that will cause her to drift closer, seeking his company. Still, he proves to her he has lied, and she believes that he has. Sometimes she is amused, other times she is irritated. He never lies, it seems, about anything important. <laughs> Do you think I am impressed because you confessed to me about your lies, she considers asking him? She means, does he think that she thinks that he is being daring? No, he explains, although she never asks the question. It's not that, it's not that. He hopes that his honesty will resonate with her, that his honesty will disarm his penchant to be evasive, will reveal to her an aspect of himself free of artifice, and above all else, will give them something about which they may laugh when they have nothing left to say. 